What's going on guys, this is Cam Hilliard from Miller's RV in Baton Rouge and today I want to show you the Autumn Ridge 182 RV. So this thing probably doesn't look too clean yet. It's one that we just got off the truck. We got a shipment of Autumn Ridges so we just did a video on um, a 19BH and now we're going to do the video on this one. Uh, before we do that, go ahead, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and make sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated with the awesomest, most coolest, best products that the RV industry has to offer, and you can get excited with us. So without further ado, let's check this thing out. Okay guys, so like I mentioned, this is the 182 RB. Um, this one that we did just get in, and we already have it sold. So the what video we just did was one that we're prepping before it goes out a lot. This one we got in and it's sold. So you can look just for fun. I'm sure we'll get another one in before too long. But I do want to point out the storage in the front. So it's a small trailer, as you can see. It does not have a slide. You do have an awning here, which I'll roll out for you in a little bit so you can see. Um, but I want to point out the storage compartment here. So this is a big storage compartment. Almost, it's not quite a pass-through, but almost a pass-through storage as far as the depth of it goes. Um, so you can really fit a ton in that. Um, so that's not bad at all. So down the side of this, you can see this is your corrugated aluminum trailer. Some people refer to them as a stick and tin. Um, but yeah, you do have a full-size awning. It's going to be a white underneath, so it's really sleek look, and they do have the LED lights that go with the outdoor speakers as well. So I want to point out your heavy-duty steps here. I always love the heavy-duty steps. They make it easier to get in and out of. It's not so wobbly. It's not so hard on your knees. You're not shaking. Um, now, this is something that we can add to any trailer, so if your trailer doesn't have it and you'd like to get that added, let us know. But I like that it already has it, so it's not something that you got to spend money on to upgrade right off the bat. So the outside of this is not loaded full of features aside from this storage so we're going to jump straight into the inside to show you what this thing has to offer okay guys so i'm inside the 182 rb now um i am so I just came in the entry door. I'm not sure if you can see that from your angle. Um, and I've got the bed right here. So I do want to point out, this is a 60 by 74. So it is the short queen, not a total deal breaker. It's always nice to have a full 60 by 80, but that's not bad. Um, to the right and left of the bed, you're going to have hanging space here. So you're going to have storage, plenty of hanging space. And this is very, very deep. So you can store a good bit of stuff in there. Now, as you probably guessed, underneath the bed, you're going to have more storage here. And it's got the assist with uh, with the gas struts there. Set that back down. You do have a plug on either side of the bed. So a regular household plug on either side. Um, this side does have a wireless charger as well as a little USB that will pop up there. Uh, overhead cubby storage here. That's nice for clothes. Potentially like throw pillows if you have throw pillows in your camper. Could go nice in there. Um, now what I do want to point out. So I mentioned you have your plugs there. But all this is solid i mean it is absolutely solid so you can put your cpap um i have a customer who uh just told me his wife needs to have a dialysis machine that they're on a different trailer um but i i haven't seen a dialysis machine in person but from the way he described it to me i believe that will fit there i know a cpap will fit there with no problems but also it's great to put your phone or your water just nightstand things like that um it is solar prep you also do have windows on this side and then the window from the entry door there um, but yeah, so this is a nice little cozy area here in the front. So I want to flip around so you can see the kitchen and the dinette. So I'm in the kitchen area now. Uh, I First of all, I just want to point out this is a huge sink. So it is a single sink, but it is a very deep sink. Um, does not have a sink cover, so that's okay. I always tell you, we can build one for you. Um, or you can build one yourself pretty easy there. Just adds a lot of countertop space if you do. Um, also, you're going to have your sink head that pulls out here. That's a great thing to have so you can spray people with. Or also, you know, you can rinse dish is pretty easy with it as well um got a window back here kind of makes it feel a little more homey i like that part you got a plug here for your coffee maker and then also here where you can charge your phone or your little portable fan it is lit underneath here so that's nice um and i believe you have yeah you've got a light under this as well so you do have the two burners um you also have a fan as well but yeah you do have the two gas burners here so I know sometimes or most time trailers will come with three. This just has the two, which will still get the trick done. Usually you're not cooking. At least I don't cook a whole ton in the inside when I'm camping. Um, if I do, I don't use more than two burners at a time. Regular microwave here. If you want to swap for a convection, we can totally do that. Um, but yeah, this one is just a regular microwave. So 
storage here and that is big storage it actually goes down a little bit too so it's got a little lip to keep your stuff from falling out when you're traveling and guys i always like to point out in the starcraft that yeah you've got your particle board and stuff in the faces here but the fronts of your cabinets this is solid wood guys so it's something that's gonna stay looking good for a while and you can just feel it i mean it's just sturdy and even i feel the same way when i pull in the drawers i mean just like the drawer guides are even that they're just solid they're sturdy it feels really really nice usually on entry level trailers like this you can just pull in the cabinet stuff and you can see like wow it's not good and this is not the case in this starcraft um so i, I do really like that now i want to point out your ac in this it's non-ducted not really a big deal for a trailer this size um, also, you don't have any slides or anything or any tricky areas to get air. So basically, you just change it directionally and you'll be fine. Um, so I did mention you have exterior speakers. You also have indoor interior speakers, which I'll show you the controls for that in just a second. Um, I think there was one more thing I wanted to point out here. I can't quite remember. But yeah, so this is the kit. Oh, storage underneath here. That's right. Yeah, so you've got your pots and pans source here. This is actually a nice little cutout where you can put a trash can. That's a thing that a lot of people don't really think about whenever you're camper shopping. Um, but a spot for a trash can. I've grown up camping. It's a really nice thing to have because I can't tell you how many times we just end up like putting a trash can or a trash bag hanging on like the door or something like that, which kind of sucks. But it's nice to have a little cutout for the trash can. So let's flip around so you can see the dinette. And like I said, I'll show you that little control we talked about. All right, guys. So now you can see the dinette area here. What I love about this trailer, a lot of times in small trailers, you have like a sorry excuse for a dinette and like the small trailers where you have one person can sit there one person can sit here on this you can do two and two and in return it actually makes it where it makes out into a bigger bed so i do like that um also you can see your storage at the front here i like that it's great for shoes um or just things that you maybe don't want to put like inside cabins or you don't want to take up other space with that's a nice little spot for dog leashes even as well it would go great there um up above me, you do have your hookups for your HD antennas. So you can get local channels when you're not at a campground or if you're not hooked to the cable, it's at the campground. And you have your TV backer here um, where you can mount the TV. Furnace control here. And then as I mentioned, this is the control for your for your speakers, exterior and interior, Bluetooth. Um, you can do auxiliary if you want or you can just do regular old radio. So to my left, we've got our 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator. So this fridge, Wow, that's really cold. Um, this fridge is huge. So usually in small trailers, you don't get big fridges. Sometimes you even get a half fridge where you don't get even a freezer in there. You might get like a little small freezer compartment. This is a huge fridge. I, I, I had to guess probably 10 cubic foot. Um, I don't quite see it in here. Yeah, 10, 10 cubic foot refrigerator in a 19 foot trailer. That's absurd. Um, but this is one that you can open from both sides, which may not be, oops, I didn't have the door closed all the way, which you may not use that much in a floor plan like this, but you do have the capabilities if you want. It. So, um, yeah, I want to show you guys the bathroom and then we'll wrap everything up with the front. All right, guys, so we're inside the bathroom area now, and I actually like the bathroom. This is bigger than I thought it would be. Um, I, I was expecting a bathroom decently spaced out with no sink. It does have a sink. So I like that, and it's not, eh, it's a little bit, not really a knuckle buster sink. My hands aren't that big, so it's pretty comfortable for me to wash my hands in that. Across from me, you have a huge storage compartment. I mean, it's like three feet wide, three and a half, four feet wide, um, and it's tri-layered. So you can fit tons of stuff in there. You can do towels or extra, you know, clothes or all that stuff. So I like that, and then you've got more storage beneath that. Um, toilet. Well, it's plastic. I expected that again with the, with the entry level trailer. Um, so one thing I don't like about the bathroom because you actually do have a decent sized shower. What I don't like is there's no light in here. You do have a little vent. Um, you do have a little vent in the fan, but I mean it's just it's, it's dark in here, you know. Hello, darkness, my old friend. No, I'm just joking. But it is it is really dark in there. So I would love a light in there. All in all, not not that bad though. Um, so yeah, pretty pretty decent on the bathroom. So let's wrap it up at the front. All right, guys. So this is the 182 Autumn Ridge or 182 RB Autumn Ridge. Let's start over. Yeah. Three, two. All right, guys. So this is the 2024. Wait, wait, wait. Give it a second. Yeah. Three, two. All right, guys. So this is the 2024 Autumn Ridge 182 RB. As I mentioned, this one is already spoken for, but we're gonna have more coming in. So come check them out. And if you want to know any pricing information on this or anything else that we have on the lot, check the link below. We've got pictures, prices, specs, and all that good stuff updated to the minute so you can see the best price available at the time so yeah we appreciate you guys stopping by and as always enjoy the journey hey there thanks for watching this video so 
We want to remind you again to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on your post notifications so we can keep you updated with the best that the RV industry has to offer. If you want to stick around and watch some more videos, we've got a link for two videos here. So we'd love for you to stay and look at that. And if there's anything else that you want us to do videos on, leave comments. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the journey.